What's up, guys? I'm actually coming today because I want to ask how everybody's doing in the challenge. I don't know if you're being notified that I am going live. It's a pain in the ass telling people I'm going live. Hey, live in five. What's up, Tasha? I just, uh, you know, going live is kind of like a spur of the moment thing. It's not like I'm a huge. What's up, Cindy? I'm not a huge, uh, like, corporation or something. It's not like it's some crazy big commercial thing. Hey, um, it's just a uh, thing I kind of do. Today's actually, I have no agenda whatsoever. I mean, now that I'm live, I'm kind of thinking about some things or whatever. Most things in my life are beer me. Don't drink beer. Um, kind of winged. Wing it. I always wing it. <laughs> um, but I'm curious um, how everybody's doing in the challenge. And that's kind of... What do you... I have a really bad headache. Um, I have a smile, okay? I'm just relaxed and kind of chilled out and waiting for the mail to come. Nobody's home. It's kind of like a chill mood today. My mom's gone and the kids are gone. I'm just trying to uh, chill out today. I just wanted to come to you guys and ask how everybody's doing. How's everybody doing in the challenge? How's everybody doing as far as are you seeing any I'm kind of tired oh my gosh <laughs> I should not be doing that in the live video don't worry I'm sure I'll pep up in a second here um, I am it's uh, I worked I wake up I like wake up at like what time in the morning? It depends. I can't tell you my schedule. But I've been waking up about midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, because there's people in the challenge that are different parts of the world. People message at you know different times. So it's important that I'm able to do my best. So if you like, see, I'm not a night person, you guys. Like, If you ever notice the afternoons are like, hmm. It's because I am not like it. I'm not even an afternoon person. I like the night. Like I don't like nights. I'm a morning person. I'm like revving to go, ready to go. At Boston's, and ordered a pizza with bacon, steak, ranch, and cheese toppings. What the fuck? You starting shit? Jennifer's starting shit. Can I delete people from the chat? I don't think I can. Ooh, I can delete your comment. <laughs> Cindy says, doing great. Staying 100% on Atkins, and I'm moving my ass for the first time in a long time. Yeah. Good job. That is amazing. I've been doing a lot of walking, and for some reason, like, Um, for some reason, like it hurts my back to walk. Like I can run all day long, but for some reason, like my back just is not happy with, uh, walking. Makes no sense whatsoever. I'm straying, straying, I'm straying really strict. I'm staying really strict with my field. Oh my gosh. My food plan, <laughs> my eating and everything. Do I have to use inappropriate language with you, John? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? Are you eating fucking pizza? You better not be eating pizza. Everybody tell Jennifer she should not be eating pizza. How are you going to post that shit here? Damn you. Plus, it's really dark in here, so it probably makes me look weird. Um, I'm actually, like, this is day five. I'm eating the toppings. You don't know what the hell's in that pizza sauce. You got no clue what's in that pizza sauce. 
I don't want to hear it. I'm mad at you now. Um, day five, you guys. I'm just giving you shit, Jennifer. Day five. Um, oh, by the way, I seen the links. Like I seen my ticker go up on the links that you ordered some stuff on Amazon. So thank you. Um, I. I'm losing my train of thought here. I probably shouldn't have went live. I probably should have talked thought about something real quick. But it was actually kind of just a Q&A and asking everybody, okay, that's good. That's good. All right. You win. Um, I just wanted to kind of see how everybody's doing, if, the, if anybody's seen any differences. We're not really – I really want you guys to keep – now, I don't care if you want to put out your weight and stuff like that, but I'd really like to keep that somewhat private. And the reason for that is because I don't want other challenge members to get discouraged by feeling like they, uh, like they're being, they're like not sufficient. Their weight loss is not sufficient compared to, um, fuck, shut up. <laughs> We'll see. Why you got to pull some shit like that? Um, what the fuck was I saying? What was I saying? Damn it. Hold on. No, I don't want you guys to post like... You can post your, your weight... <laughs> yes, she is. You can post your weight loss and stuff like that. But it's important that we be kind of sensitive because, like, some people could be trying to lose, you know, a pound or two or something like that. So please uh, be careful and sensitive of others. I know that sounds kind of stupid. It's like whatever. But I feel that, you know what I mean? Like, if people start putting up numbers and stuff like that, I'll release them. And I think I'll try to do it in the best way possible um, so that – people aren't discouraged from their uh, weight loss plan or something like that. You know what I mean? Like from the challenge or whatever. Some people can be shooting for 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds. Yes, most people would be okay and, you know, push others to. We can always change it. Like if everybody unanimously agrees, hey, we want to post so we can like uh, be – Shut up, Jennifer. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. So, um, is that what the fuck this is about right now? Oh, my God. Flower! I just saw a flower. Did you see the flower, you guys? <laughs> you guys are bastards. Really? Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys want to challenge against each other and uh, make it like a competitive thing or something like that, uh, that's okay. And I'm acceptable of that, but I want to make sure it's everybody's okay with it. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are shitheads right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go off the live if you guys don't stop right now. <laughs> okay, um, dude, nobody's focusing. Like, It's like nobody's focusing. <laughs> Focus, all right? We're focusing on the challenge. <laughs> you guys, um, damn, you guys fucked this all up. You screwed it all up. It's done. I don't even know. I came here to talk to you guys about how you guys are doing. I knew I should. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have came here with no fucking agenda. <laughs> it's a horrible idea. Horrible idea. But if you guys want to like compete against each other or something like that, we can. <laughs> of course. Come on now. If you guys want to compete against each other, you can. <clears throat> um, 
and we can post like weekly results or something like that. But I just don't want anybody to feel like they are um, being put out by it. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you want, how about this? When we do the weigh in, um, if you want your results, yes, that's a good idea. Tuesday, well, Monday night technically, or Tuesday. I mean, I guess you could do it Tuesday would be the full seven day. So Tuesday, you guys have to send in your weight loss results and your video every Tuesday. When you do that, you're not in the you're not in the challenge, Keith. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it, Keith! You're screwing this up. <laughs> it is definitely not a race; it's a journey. But I will say, like, I'm a very competitive person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to do something like this and get somebody else, like another dude's, like, three pounds ahead of me, I ain't stopping walking until I beat him. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's me. So I know there could be other people like that as well. So definitely uh, we can keep that in mind. So what you can do is when you send in your way in um, you can say, yes, I'd like you to post my results. And what I'll do then is I'll post – Okay, Monday or Tuesday's one week weigh in results. I could put like Jennifer this way, blah, 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 this way, this way, this way, this way. So people can kind of look. That is scaring me. Don't say you have a rude request. I'm super competitive too. Nice. So if that helps you guys, this went totally different. Like I was trying to like tell you guys I didn't want to do that, but then, but if it helps, now that I think about it, it might help. You know what I mean? Like, because then you see you're not like blindly doing it or whatever. Because last winter, Tasha won or uh, she lost uh, 47 pounds in a month. So you guys can put up some big numbers. And I think maybe that would be good. You know, uh, so if you want to do it, that's what we'll do. When you weigh in, tell me, yes, I would like you to post my results. And I'll post like a, a thing in the morning or something, probably like a Wednesday or something. Or maybe, yeah, probably Wednesday because different times are going to come in. And then you guys can kind of gauge where you're at um i already know some people's numbers or whatever you know from checking in with people and stuff like that so um it's kind of interesting it would be kind of interesting to know or whatever and uh give you guys a better idea if you guys want to send anything for the challenge winners the prizes for the winners the three first th second and third place my home address is 7448 east baseline road mesa arizona 85209 Let me read. I I had to go out keto over rash and severe itching. I added two pieces of fruit for a day. My diet is still eating low carb though. Somebody was put. Was it you guys posting Clarissa? Was it you guys posting about like the hey Isabel? Was it you guys posting about the uh, keto rash? Like I'm not trying to discount it. I've just never heard of it. Um, I have heard of like some side effects from. Sometimes when women change their uh, diet drastically, sometimes they, uh, because of the hormones and stuff, uh, different things happen or whatever. So I, I, I think it's probably a real thing. It could very well happen. A lot of the times, sometimes when you surge your body with any type of things, whether it's like a, a drug, a medication, lack of food, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like when your body goes through an extreme change, depending on how, how resistant your body is to it, you could definitely see something. Uh, I do have a weird response or a request. Are you requesting a video? Keto and Atkins reset your hormones, especially. What's the request? Am I seeing the request? Am I tripping here? What's going on here? No, I don't see a request. Just totally missed my mouth. Um, yes, I have a video on it. You know, it's funny. Somebody recently told me to do that, and I was like, whoa, that's one of the big big one to tackle. But I have done some research, so I'll definitely get that. I'm going to write that on the list right now. What is it? Keto. Are you asking a video on – I'm about to write it down. Keto. A video on keto and Atkins and the effect on your hormones? Waiting for an answer. Because I have a list here, I'll put it in, put it down. 
And I also want you guys to know, like, this 30 days is a good way for you guys to um, get your – okay. Sorry, there's a lag in that. It takes a while to uh, – Keto and Atkins. Hormones. Okay, got it. If you guys have any kind of request that you want, um, that you guys want to uh, videos or whatever, because obviously I'm going to be doing like 30 or 40 this month. So I will, if it obviously, try to make it pertaining to something. Well, I'm really give a fuck what this. I'll make the video. <laughs> Just tell me what. I might like tweak it a little bit to make it conform more to like the masses as far as whatever, but I'll definitely cover what you're asking. Keto and Atkins, it's a good question. Okay, cool. It's on the list. If you guys have anything else right now, um, as far as requests, I'd like to know. Anybody in the challenge that hasn't posted yet, I'm, I'm here actually kind of seeing how people are doing. Are your clothes fitting better? Um, are you seeing weight loss? I know it's only day five, but usually... Um, challenges and how not to compare yourself to others. I like that. That's good. Challenges and how not to compare so to others yeah see like like that that one specifically will probably be changed as far as that was a pain in the ass that was a long ass sentence <laughs> so I have to say like um, I don't know so I'll just change it so it's able to find easier on the internet or something like that um, yeah good ones Jennifer I like that so it's kind of like a brainstorming as well for videos but I want you guys to uh, Tell me how you guys are doing. If there's anybody that's in the challenge, um, we got previous challenge members. I was just giving you shit, by the way, Keith. I'm out of water. Damn it. I'm not. I want to go get another water bottle. I'll be right back. If you guys have any questions or... I want you guys to post. Tell me how the hell you're doing in the challenge. If you're not in the challenge, by the way, I see kind of like, now obviously it's really difficult for me to keep up with as we grow. I mean, don't ever think I'm ignoring your uh, messages or your tags or whatever because sometimes when I go to my um, thing, you know, there's like 150 uh, notifications or something like that, and sometimes I can't keep up with what's going on so I'm not ignoring you you know tag me once tag me twice tag me again contact one of the moderators if I'm not around maybe they can get a hold of me or something keep that in mind um, but I'm really doing my best uh, also if you're not in the challenge I don't want to see like you subsiding and you kind of be like backing away or whatever this this group is not based solely on the challenges um, we do those periodically kind of to give people a kickstart um, it also helps me stay motivated towards the journey or whatever because uh, it's, it's a lifestyle. It doesn't change. But I want you to know, even if you're not in the challenge, dude, you need to be posting. You need to be making sure that you're active in the community because if not, here's what happens. You kind of step back for 30 days and you're like, whoa, there's a lot going on. I don't really, really want to be involved. I'm not really doing the challenge. And then in 30 days, you gain 20 pounds. You know what I mean? Like, no, that's no. You know, you can't. Uh, sidetrack and get off of the, the lifestyle you don't want to do that it's important that you stay active keep going and make sure uh, no matter what you post uh, whatever you're thinking or whatever you're going through or whatever keep that in mind I don't know you guys are 
quiet. <laughs> I'm kind of quiet today, too. It's okay. Um, I think that's about it. Yes, my work clothes are getting too big. I was a 3X now. I'm down to a 1X. Oof. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. But I was doing for sure. I don't know. It's all together. Nice, Gia. Good job. That's awesome. Kicking ass. Seriously, that's great. I was actually a 5X, 5X shirt when I was my biggest. And uh, it was 50, so I was 54 pants. I'm like naturally, you know, even at my lowest weight when I hit like 193, um, still like a four, size 40 waist. So I'm always, I'm just like a big wasted person for some reason. But yeah, I was like 54. I know it feels good, man, when you get out of those. When I got out of the, being able to shop at the big and tall sections and, uh, you know, I had to go to, like, certain places. Shit. Big and tall clothes suck, by the way. They just have the shittiest selection of clothes. The hardest thing was when I went to England for the first time. And um, the first time I went to England, they don't have where I was staying. They don't. They didn't have any big and tall. There was no 3X. You know what I mean? I didn't even see any 3X people where I was. It was so hard to deal with. Um, holy shit. What an achievement. Good job. That is awesome. I can't wait till you hit Wonderland. That's sweet. That is really good feeling. That is so cool. Um, but yeah, getting out of those big clothes and getting into normal size clothes, because it's funny when you see those models in the store or whatever, everything looks good or whatever. Everything looks good because they're tiny models. <laughs> when you get the big clothes that are just, you know, three times that size, they don't look as good. They just don't, you know what I mean? Like when you got a whole blanket of fabric on you, it's not as attractive and you feel you know, better once you are able to, that's one of the biggest things, being able to shop and you go down in sizes, that is so fun. That feels so good when you can do that. Um, so I totally agree. That's just like a really good feeling. Super amazing feeling. Um, I think that's it for today. I wanted to say, I kind of just wanted to check in how everybody's doing. If you see this, uh, this later, please feel free to uh, comment how you're doing um, and keep up the good work. We, I also wanted to say that was actually the original reason I wanted to come now that I remember at the end of the fucking video. <laughs> Pardon my French. Um, I wanted to say that uh, today's the start of the weekend, Saturday, and you guys need to stay diligent because you got to weigh in on Tuesday. So you don't want to sit around and stare in front of the fridge or anything or sit on the couch eating potato chips. Get out there and get active um, and have an amazing day. Does it keep cutting in and out? Could be your cell phone or something. I'm sorry. Maybe it's the connection. I don't know. Everything looks good on my end. Sorry about that, Mary. But um, just stay strong, you guys. I know it's the weekend. And... Uh, it can be that can be the most challenging time because you're not all busy. You know, you're sitting around kind of just chilling or whatever. So keep yourself busy doing something in a positive direction. Don't screw up. Um, I'm excited to see week one in a couple days. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Worst live video ever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's just one of those things. You get tired. You guys have a good day. Remember to spread love, not hate, and hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Week one, let's kick ass.